Hey guys and welcome back. Um, I just kind of felt like blogging. Um, I'm in a very like motivated mood. It's Thursday night and I only have a half day of work tomorrow so I don't mind staying up late and being productive on Thursdays and then I feel like it elongates my weekend kind of. So tonight I am going to clean the crap out of my room. I also wanted to go through some of my clothes and just like get rid of a lot of stuff. I also want to declutter my makeup before I go but I think I'll do a video on that. Um, I think that would be a good idea just like a declutter with me kind of video or cleaning out my collection and eventually I'd like to do a makeup collection video for you guys. I don't have a ton but I do have more than anyone possibly needs and can wear on a daily basis so I think it would be cool to show you guys eventually. Basically I want to clean up my life um, in terms of clothes. I have so many that I don't wear and if I'm going on exchange, if it's going to be sitting at home in my drawers for that period of time, then that clearly means I don't like it that much. So I'm going to kind of go through every drawer and figure out if I would bring it, if I've worn it in the last six months, etc. And just throw some stuff out, especially like bras and underwear. Um, I just bought some new ones this weekend and I just want to go through all the old stuff. I think it's a good thing to do. Um before the new school year starts. Okay, I will talk to you guys later and cue all the cleaning montage. Let's go. Go through the violence until it all makes sense. Still got some many questions. Hey guys, and welcome back to the vlog. I just wanted to sit down and give you guys a little update on why I sucked at vlogging and fill in some gaps from the weekend. So I think I started my weekend vlog on Thursday, and I got a good amount of footage on Thursday night. I was cleaning, minimizing my stuff. Um, I filmed all that for you. And then on Friday, I had like just a crappy night. I wasn't feeling very well and I stayed home and edited, did YouTube stuff and my computer started having issues. So that is the beginning of where everything went wrong this weekend. So I will address all of those issues towards the end, but I just wanted to talk through what I did on Saturday first. So I got some footage throughout the day and I wanted to do a little story time talking through what I was doing to tie it all together. So on Saturday morning I had a blood appointment which was super awesome. I had to get my blood drawn because I've been getting really dizzy and nauseous lately and I'm going away on exchange and I just wanted to make sure that everything is good before I go so I went to the doctor and got a bunch of blood drawn which was super fun. <laughs> And then on Saturday afternoon, my mom's friend was going to a wedding and she asked if I could do her makeup for her. So I have some footage of that that I will insert, but basically she was going to a wedding and I've done her makeup for some special events before. She was just looking for something a little glam and that would make her feel good for the night. So I did her makeup for her and I will insert some footage of that now. So yeah, I was really happy with how it turned out. That's what I did on Saturday morning slash early afternoon. And then we went to the mall and I picked up a couple things. So I figured I would do a little haul for you guys. Why not? Because I've been a crappy vlogger all weekend and I wanted to make up for it. Okay, so the first place that I went with my mom was MAC. My mom's friend did pay me to do her makeup. So I figured I'm getting paid to do makeup. Obviously, I'm gonna go and invest it in more makeup for myself. So I went to MAC and treated myself. So with my purchase, I don't know if it's because I spent over $50 or what, I got this lipstick sample kit and it comes with three of their most popular shades. So we have Ruby Woo, Velvet Teddy, and Diva. Super excited to try out Velvet Teddy. Um, that was one of the ones I swatched and was looking at. So my mom got the exact same sample as well. So now I have two samples of Ruby Woo, Velvet Teddy, and Diva. So I'm excited to try out those. And then I got a lip liner and a lipstick. So the lip liner that I got is just the Pro Longwear Lip Pencil. This is like the retractable creamy one, not the wooden pencil. 
and I got it in the shade Posey Perfect. I went looking for like the perfect light pink nude kind of color. Um, I didn't want a super bright pink, but all they really had was bright pinks. So I thought that this one was a little more neutral. I will swatch it for you guys. And my camera is wanting to focus for you guys for some reason, probably because the Mercury in Retrograde, which I will get to, but it just looks like this. It's like a very light pink. It kind of looks like I have it on right now, but I don't. Um, and that's the color, exact color pretty much that I wanted. I wanted it in a lipstick because I really like their matte lipstick formula, but I did get a lipstick as well. I got a satin lipstick. I only have two other MAC lipsticks, and those are Brave and Faux. And those look like really pretty light nudie pink, some people, but on me, they're very dark. So I went in looking for a nice pink, but I didn't really find one apart from the lip liner. I wanted a lipstick, though. And I've only tried their matte formulas. So this is a satin, which I've never had before. I got MAC Viva Glam 2. It's a really pretty nude tone. I'll swatch it for you. It doesn't want to focus don't know why and it looks like this I think that these are both pretty wearable colors these colors both look pretty good on me typically so I'm excited that I got those it's always nice to get paid and then be able to treat yourself unexpectedly and then I got another exciting purchase from Nike um, I think I've said in this vlog already I'm going on exchange in the fall and the only running shoes that I have are like neon pink and I wanted some really wearable walking shoes because I'm going to be traveling a lot while I'm on exchange. I'm walking around and discovering new places and just like walking is what you do when you travel so I needed good shoes for that. So I went to the Nike outlet by my house. They have really good deals um, and I got these. They are kind of similar to the basic ones that everyone has but they're a little bit different, which I like. They're super comfortable and they're very chic and lightweight and easy to pack. So I'm really happy with these and they were only $55. I got them from the sale section actually. I looked for the ones that everyone has, um, just like the plain black with the white check, but those were like $100 and they didn't fit me well. They were really tight in like areas that they shouldn't be, but they were too loose in length. So anyway, I found these and they were only 55 bucks and my mom was nice enough to buy those for me as my like back to school thing because I kind of buy all my own clothes now and I don't really need a backpack. So I was like, hey mom, want to buy me some new Nikes? So she did that. So thanks mom. Shout out to you. And yeah, so that was everything I got. And then I came home exhausted from like shopping all day, getting my blood taken and doing someone's makeup. But my friend texted me and she was like, hey, I'm at the GO train. Do you want to come to Toronto with me for the night? Just go out for dinner, get some drinks. And I was like, I'm really tired. I don't really feel like it. But then I decided that I wanted to spontaneously because I'd stayed in on the Friday and I didn't really want to stay in again on Saturday. So I GO trained uh, by myself a little bit later on and went out to dinner with her and her friend and got drinks. I don't remember the restaurant that we went to, but it wasn't that good. I got a sangria and that was all right, but like it was super overpriced. Drinks in Toronto are insane. It's like, it was $12 for like a little um, stemless wine glass of sangria, which is ridiculous. And then after dinner, we decided to like chill in the hotel that was across from the train station. And we just like people watched and hung out and it was really fun. And then we took the GO train home at like 11. So I was home by 12. It was really fun and I'm glad that I decided to go because I'm normally a homebody and I just immediately say no to that kind of stuff. But I decided to go and I had a really good time. So I'll insert some footage from that now. Now we're at two today, and today I didn't take any footage. Today was just like a crapshoot of a day. It was terrible. Um, I woke up early this morning, and I went to Chapters with my mom to book some Airbnbs for when we are traveling the week before I have to be at school for exchange. And 
we are doing it super last minute. We leave in like three weeks and everything's fucked up. So it was just really frustrating and we didn't end up getting anything booked and yeah, super frustrating. To get to the Mercury and retrograde thing, my laptop internet hasn't been working since Friday afternoon and I'm filming this right now on Sunday and it's still not working. I spent two hours trying to figure it out today and it just isn't working. Um, it says that it's connected to the Wi-Fi. It's not an issue of the Wi-Fi at my house. I tried the Wi-Fi at my house, the Wi-Fi at a friend's house, the Wi-Fi at Starbucks. It doesn't work anywhere. It connects to it and it recognizes the network, but then it has like a little exclamation mark that says like alert, internet not found or not connected or whatever, but it says that it's connected. It makes no sense and the internet hasn't been working and I needed to upload a video today so I was all stressed out and then stupid me realized that I could put it on a USB because my video was completely done. I just needed to upload it and I put it on a USB and then uploaded it on my brother's computer who was nice enough to let me use his computer. So that issue was resolved but my laptop still isn't working and I can't bring it into Apple until Thursday. They don't have appointments until Thursday and I hate doing that on the phone thing. So I might bring it into like an alternative computer store tomorrow and I'm pretty sure the problem might just be that I need a new computer. I've had it for like five years now and that's a pretty long time for a MacBook Pro and I'm just scared that I'll have to buy a new one before I go on exchange. I don't want to go on exchange with like a computer that could crap out any second. Um, but I also don't want to spend a thousand dollars on a new MacBook. I don't know. We'll see. Um, hopefully that gets resolved. But basically, I was freaking out about this, and I was, I get so anxious and um, in my head and worried when technology breaks down. And then I was like, this seems weird. I don't know why this is all happening at once. Like we can't book the Airbnbs. My camera kept dying on me yesterday, and it's having trouble focusing. And then my internet just like everything together was just too much and then I saw an article that mercury in retrograde started today so in case you don't know what that is I don't really want to explain it I don't know all of the explanation to be honest and it happens four times a year and it started today so I'm just gonna chalk this all up to mercury in retrograde sucks and hopefully I can get this all resolved and everything will be okay. And I was going to film another video today because you guys have been asking to see how I style my hair and a hair care type routine. And I really want to film that video, but I just didn't have it in me today to be all peppy and uppity for the camera. I just like everything was going wrong and the thought of having to like edit another video on top of all this when my internet doesn't even work and editing thumbnails on my mom's laptop was just... Too much to think about um so yeah and I get frustrated when things like this happen on the weekend because I work all week and I feel like I don't have enough time to do what I want to do during the week so weekends are really my time to do that on top of that I dedicate so much of my weekends to YouTube which I love but when things like this go wrong it's just kind of extra frustrating if you know what I mean so I'm gonna go with all that said, um, my dad is making a fancy dinner tonight, so that'll be nice. And I don't need internet to edit my videos, so at least I can get caught up on editing. And then hopefully when I get internet, I'll be able to upload them somehow. So I'm going to go chill and try and relax. Maybe I'll meditate. That would be good. I've been trying to do that on a pretty consistent basis, and it's been helping with my stress and anxiety levels. So I think I'll do that. Thank you guys so much for listening to my rant. I hate spreading negativity and I don't mean to be negative, but I just kind of wanted to explain why my vlog was so scattered this weekend and kind of give reasoning to import all of the footage that I did get this weekend. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog regardless and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.